Mwea Irrigation Scheme is one of the seven public schemes under the management of the National Irrigation Board. It is situated in Kirinyaga County, about 100 kilometers northeast of Nairobi. This scheme was started way back in 1956, and the predominant crop grown in the scheme is rice. Currently, we are doing about 24,000 acres of paddy, and the uh, Mwea Irrigation Scheme produces 80% of the local production of rice in Kenya. So it is a significant scheme when it comes to um, uh, rice production. Mwea Irrigation Scheme has an area of 30,350 acres, with a total of 16,000 acres developed for paddy production. In addition, the scheme has a total of 4,000 acres of outgrower and juakali areas under paddy production. The rest of the scheme is used for settlement, public utilities, subsistence, and horticultural crops farming. The scheme is served by two main rivers, namely Nyamindi and Thiba. Irrigation water is abstracted from the rivers by gravity by the help of fixed intake weirs, conveyed and distributed in the scheme by open channels. There is a link canal joining the two rivers which transfers water from Nyamindi to Thiba River, which serves about 80% of the scheme. The scheme is developed on a gazetted land and the farmers settled as tenants have a holding of at least four acres. Due to the increase in the population, most of the holdings have been subdivided among family members. Up to 1998, the scheme was being run solely by the National Irrigation Board as mandated by the Irrigation Act Cap 347. The board was responsible for all the activities in the production chain, which includes land preparation, credit provision, crop husbandry activities, harvesting and post-harvest handling, including marketing. Mwea is one of the largest schemes within the NIB irrigation schemes. It was formed way back in 1956, and it has been undergoing expansion since then. And currently also we have efforts even to expand it further. Maybe you have heard that we are planning to do a dam, a major dam in Kirinyaga County called Thiba Dam. This dam is being done specifically to aid the expansion in the scheme. Currently we are doing about 24,000 acres of paddy. We have 6,000 farmers and uh, we have five sections and three outgrower areas and we've been uh, expanding uh, continuously. Even currently we have plans to put up infrastructure in the outgrower areas with a view of improving the water supply and thereby uh, aiding the expansion efforts that we have at the scheme. NIB used to undertake the milling and marketing of the crop through MRM from which they would recover the expenses after the sales. This system of farmers channeling their paddy through NIB collapsed during the 1998-99 crop when they revolted and refused to deliver the crop and instead demanded that they be allowed to market the crop on their own. Following this sudden change of the role of NIB in the scheme, the scheme management was briefly taken over by a Mwea Rice Farmers Cooperative Society. However, the farmers realized that they could not go it alone due to lack of skilled personnel, lack of finances, and lack of machinery for scheme maintenance. In 2003, the farmers approached the government for assistance in the scheme management. NIB went through a restructuring process with a view of changing its mode of service delivery to the farmers in the schemes. Some of the non-core roles which used to be performed by NIB were devolved to the farmers and other stakeholders. The National Irrigation Board concentrates on water management and operation and maintenance of infrastructure in the scheme as its core mandate. Since water is a key input in irrigation, NIB facilitated the formation and strengthening of the Farmers Water Users Association for the purpose of involving farmers in the scheme management. This uh, particular project was aimed towards improving water uh, 
management, uh, reducing the losses that we are we were experiencing after the scheme uh, degenerated uh, during the time when we had uh, uh, the scheme being run by farmers on their own. So we have restored most of that infrastructure. And with that, we are now seeing more water being available for production. Part of this water that we have saved is the ones now that we want to push down downstream to the outgrower areas and ensure that they also have an opportunity to produce more food and more rice. Uh, apart from that, we have also strengthened the institutions that we have. The Water Use Association, which is a key institution in water management, we have also been building their capacity so that they can assist us in managing the water, especially at the on-farm level. NIB is responsible for maintenance and water management in the main and secondary canals, making of cropping program and land administration in the scheme. Water Users Association is responsible of water management in the tertiary unit, facility maintenance in the tertiary units except roads and ensuring farmers' payment of operation and maintenance fee. NIB has also been undertaking the empowerment of the farmers through training and capacity building to ensure that they take up more roles in the management of the scheme. This is being done through participatory irrigation management. The cropping program is what states when the farmers are supposed to start the land preparation, when they are supposed to flood their fields, when they are supposed to prepare the nursery, transplanting, and even the probable dates for harvesting and even spraying. So usually in a Moya irrigation scheme, we work hand in hand with the farmers. And uh, we normally have unit leaders who are farmer, farmers' representatives. Ndani ya scheme, sisi tunafanya na, na, na NIB Mzuri, in a participatory manner, sababu sasa wanatuzisa kwa kasi wele inafanya, tunaketi kichini na wawa, tunapanga cropping program, waka plan, na pia wakati wa, 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 wa maji, tunapanga rationing, ikiwa hakuna maji ya kutosha, ndiyo kukira mtu apate maji. Na pia kuwa, kuangalia kama they, they have cleaned their, their channels, Mzuri, ya maji na kwa kwa kuambia ni wakati mzuri wa kufanya jambo lolote kwa hivyo tunafanya mzuri na hiyo ndio kasi tunafanya The routine operation and maintenance of the scheme is being done using the funds collected from the farmers This amount of funds collected is not sufficient to undertake all the operation and maintenance activities in the scheme to a satisfactory level and NIB is still subsidizing a number of activities in the scheme. Since 1998, about 4,000 acres of land has been developed by farmers on their own for paddy cultivation. This new area was not planned for and has worsened the situation in terms of water availability for the scheme. In order to address this, NIB is currently implementing two projects targeting the rehabilitation and expansion of the scheme. One of the challenges that we've been having as a scheme has been the lack of water, which we are progressively handling. We've just finished the rehabilitation of the scheme where we have improved the canals, and now we are seeing that at least the water is being availed to the farmers in a better manner like before. We have now the grand project of doing the dam, which we know will also support us towards having more water for production, and also uh, have some more land in the expansion area, that is the Mutidi area. Upon completion of these projects, we are expecting to expand the scheme by 4,000 hectares and to double crop production in Mwea, thereby increasing the current annual turnover from Kenya shillings 2.5 billion to 5 billion from rice production. <laughs> iko chini sana sababu unajua hapa mchele mingi natoka ya nje inakuja hapa lakini tunakusa hapa na sababu ni ni kwenye ya juu ikawa ndio yake ni kidogo the other day we did uh, a lot of uh, maraming of the roads really that was outside the so called operation and maintenance services but it has really assisted them we did in the villages we did in, in various areas where farmers were having issues in terms of transporting their produce and even accessing you know, other facilities because the roads were doing badly. 
We are continuously sensitizing farmers to purchase certified seed from MIAD while lobbying for adequate support by the Ministry of Agriculture with regard to extension, pest and disease control in the scheme. MIAD, which is the main research arm of National Education Board. The institution is the, has been the main source of rice seed all over the country. Seeds are produced here because of the, the environment that is very suitable for rice production, which, is, uh, which uh, is, does not have uh, disease challenges as, like, like we is faced in other regions of the country. So rice seed is one of the major activity, rice seed production, as well as other seed, seed, uh, vari uh, seed uh, from other crops like soybean, we do produce that and many other crops. The maintenance of irrigation infrastructure, which consists of canals, roads, and water management structures, requires substantial amount of funds. The current operation and maintenance fees collected from the farmers is not adequate for sufficient maintenance of the entire infrastructure, especially the roads and the routine repair of the equipment. Marketing of rice has been left open as NIB divested from being a sole marketer of rice in Mwea. Marketing of the rice and its byproducts has been left to the market forces, but NIB does some marketing through its subsidiary, the Mwea Rice Mills. We set a price that we make sure that whoever would come uh, buy paddy from the farmer can only buy more than what we have actually set in the market. So we make sure that we are in the market the whole year. We make sure that we are, we, there is a price, which is actually even known by the local people, to make sure that whatever we've given the farmer is the best. Because as a company, uh, we make sure that we consider all the factors, ranging from nursery preparation, the inputs, and also the, 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 the other factors which are, which are associated with the production cost. AIC Watch more agricultural documentaries at www.youtube.com forward slash AIRC video unit. Find us on www.nib.or.ke on Twitter or Facebook. <laughs>